In this episode, I'll show you how to add shaders to your Minecraft in a really simple way. So let's get started. If this video helps you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really focused on drawing my subscribe account, so I'd really appreciate it. It really, really helps. You can also buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. Huge thanks, and let's keep going. Okay, so the first step is to launch the game in the version you want to install the shaders on. If you haven't done this before, for example, if the newest version of Minecraft 1.21.9 just came out. I haven't launched it before because it's a new version, so I need to run the game at least once now, clean, without anything, with this version so that the files are created, and then we'll attach various other things to those files that will help us install the shaders. So as you can see, my game is starting up and I literally turn it off right after it launches. It's just about creating the files, and you should do this to avoid errors if you haven't launched this version before. Of course, all the links are in the description. As usual, we also have a blog post for you here with translations. So you can check it out here, and at the very bottom we have a links section. Here we have the official, the official source for downloading iris shaders, and that's the mod we'll be using today to load shaders. And while I'm on the site, I just click the main download button, download universal jar. I choose the desktop so I can easily access the downloaded file, and in a moment we'll move on to the installation. But first, let's pick the shaders we want to load, so here we'll use modern. Of course, you can download shaders from whatever sources you like. I choose Modernth because there are quite a lot of shaders there, many of them officially from the creators, so of course we can filter by different categories here on the left. We can also, for example, choose how advanced we want the shaders to be, depending on whether we have a good computer or a weaker one. We can make our selections here. I'll stick with the weaker ones. My computer isn't the best in the world, so let's keep it that way. We can also choose the game version that's compatible with these shaders. It's worth filtering and setting things up the way you want, so you'll get good results right away and download the right shaders that will definitely work the way you want them to. So we can download one of these shaders. These have already been updated to the latest version and they're pretty lightweight, since I selected Potato here. And one more thing, it's really important that you select the iris loader in the filters here. Maybe I'll go with complementary shaders and click this green download button. I choose the game version, so for me, it's the latest one, but you can pick whichever you want. And here I select the platform, and we choose Iris. Your shaders need to support Iris for this tutorial. Of course, you can also do this with Optifine. That's what my other tutorials are for, but in this tutorial, we're choosing the Iris platform here, clicking download, and saving it to the desktop as well. Today we're using Iris. So let's make sure to select that. Now I'm on the desktop. Here we have the two files we downloaded. The first one is the iris installer. Now you should see a little coffee cup icon here. That's Java. Minecraft runs on Java, so you need it to launch and install everything. If you don't see that icon, right click and choose open with Java TM and everything should be fine. So that's how you can open the installer. Or if you already have the icon showing here, you can just double click it to open as well. If you don't see this icon, it means there's something wrong with your Java. Check out my guide on how to install Java and how to fix it if you already have it installed but it's not working for some reason. The link is, of course, in the description. So I'm opening the installer now and here we see the version selection. I don't need to change anything. I have the latest version. But if you want a different one, of course, just pick it from the list. We can build back only as far as 1.16.5 because that's when Iris was created. I'm sticking with the latest version of the game. I'm clicking on Iris only. Here's another tip for you. If you want to use Iris with a mod pack, or use it in a more classic way with the fabric loader and the fabric version of Minecraft, you can check this box. If you just want to create a profile in the game for shaders, you'll see it in a moment, then click the left option. The left option will be enough if you mainly care about shaders and that's pretty much it. So I click install, and it installed really quickly. Now I click X and go in. The launcher starts up and we can see in the bottom left corner that Iris has been installed along with Sodium, so we'll also get better performance in our Minecraft. And if you don't see this profile on your list, you can go into Installations, click on New Installation, name it for example Sodium, pick an icon, and then filter Iris from the list here. And here we actually have Iris Fabric, and I check it, yep, it's the version I'm interested in. If you're installing Iris for several versions, your list will be a bit more filled up. But for now, I only have one entry, 1.21.9.
I select it and click install in the bottom right corner. And now our iris is added here to the iris list. There you go, we've added it, either manually or the one that was added automatically. You just click play on the automatically added one or on the one we created ourselves. It's the same thing, so you just go in and click play. Our game has started up. Now we can enter some sample world. Here you go, and in a moment we'll open the folder for shaders. We go into escape, options, video settings. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. We go into escape, options, video settings, packs, shader, right here. And here you can see all of the shader packs you've installed in your Minecraft. If you're doing this for the first time, this area will be empty. So I cleared mine too, so that I have it exactly the way you do. So we don't have anything here. Now we click this button, open shader folder. I click it, and a folder like this opens up. Now we go back to the desktop. I've left this folder open here, and now we look for your shaders on the desktop or wherever you downloaded them, and I just drag them in here. I don't have to do anything else, like open it or anything. I just drop this file into the folder that opened up for us. I can close it now. I go back to our game, and we can see that some shaders have already appeared on the list. And these are the shaders we chose and downloaded. I click to select them. I click done down here, and it's ready, it's loading now. We had a little lag for a moment because all those files had to load, and now we can see that our shaders are loaded and everything is working. If we wanted to turn them off, it's the same process. Options, video settings, then shader packs, and you just click here to disable them. And now I'll just click OK. As you can see, they've turned off normally, so you can turn them on and off, and you can add more to this folder. Here, this folder opens up. Just a reminder, you can add even more shaders to this folder. You can have as many as you want, and then just pick the ones you're interested in from the list. Here, after turning it back on, we also have the shader pack settings available. Here, I just click, and in this spot, we can actually choose, for example, how demanding they will be for our computer, meaning how detailed all the shadows and everything will be, how advanced it all gets, and we can also manage a different style here. Here, basically, these settings vary depending on which shaders you use, so it can be different each time. You can mess around with it, play with these settings. I confirmed a bit, I have a little lag, so everything is loading now. It doesn't always matter. Sometimes you get a bit more FPS, a bit smoother performance. But if you want, you can just play around with it. If this tutorial helped you, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really focused on getting more subscribers, so I would really appreciate it. It really, really helps. And I'll see you in the next videos. Thanks.